Hi, and welcome everyone to the walk around video here at your next car, the 2019 69 Res G2330EM Sport. Car is presented in Portamal Blue, features the YNT body enhancement kit alongside some very nice features and options. How you see the car is how you'll purchase it, and if you'd like to know more, you're welcome to use the links that are available in the description box. But let's get into talking about this plug in hybrid 3 series. We have fitted the brand new triple, the brand new 20 inch alloy wheels, sorry, as well as the four brand new tyres, along with the front splitter and matching kidney goals, along with the side sill extensions and YNT and performance decals. Also, we have opted for the spoiler and aero mirror caps, and we'll come on to talk about the diffuser in a moment. We will also talk about the hybrid capabilities. And of course show you the interior shortly at the back then we have gone for the gloss black diffuser now this can be upgraded to one of our quad exhaust diffusers if you would like to and if you look through the advert photos about the fifth or sixth image along you will see all of the details for those and a sample image of one again you can also contact us directly about more details for one of those or of course just simply check back through our youtube channel where you're watching this video and there are plenty of our g20s with those quad exhaust, quad exhaust diffusers on there boot space is the only area of compromise from a e-drive g20 to a regular petrol or diesel model if you will you lose a little bit of boot depth but it is more than made up for with effectively having two power units in this little carry case is of course the charging cable we'll slide that out of there so as you can see, it's really nice and convenient being that the fact it does come with a household three pin socket. So again, that really is gonna make things nice and easy, nice and simple. If you are to charge it up using the more conventional household three pin socket, it will take around about three to four hours if the batteries are completely empty. However, fast chargers are becoming more and more frequently available. And of course you can have them installed at your home, which is relatively inexpensive and well worth doing of course, for the longevity of ownership of a car like this. You will also see them in and around towns and cities, of course, now. So again, it really is quick and easy to have the batteries charged up in no time at all. You've got a lovely 3C Isofix rear bench. Again, there's no space difference between a petrol or diesel model G20 compared to an E-Drive in terms of the interior space. But going back to my point about charging the car up, it isn't a case of when the electric energy has run out, you're going to grind to a halt. It will switch seamlessly over to the petrol engine, which is, of course, the main advantage of going for a plug-in hybrid. Up front, you've still got features like heated seat, ambient lighting, and plenty of others, which we'll go over in a second. This is where you'll charge the car up. So again, that's nice and easy. You can plug it in and leave it be. It'll take care of itself. You can treat it like perhaps you do your mobile phone, bung it on overnight and leave it be. It'll take care of everything. You can charge it throughout the day. And of course, it really is as simple as that. You can even monitor it from the app that you can easily download. So again, you can keep an eye on what it's doing and how much charge it has. Range, <clears throat> BMW give you a clean, claimed electric range of around about 37 to 40 miles. Now again, that will vary on driving style and driving conditions. But again, generally speaking, hitting those estimated targets should be fairly easy. You've got the live cockpit with the default map view. A little bit of change there for the e-drive cars, but all of the same, very, very informative, all at the same time as being nice and simple. It isn't overly distracting, which is of course nice as well. It's covered just over 70,000 miles, this car. As you can see, we've got this lovely nav and media setup, which is touchscreen. It'll also highlight points of interest, which does of course include charging stations, charging points. It'll also tell you if they're in use or whether they're relevant for this car or not. If we check out the multimedia next of all, so you've got DAB, you've got Bluetooth lining, you've got screen mirroring. You then have also got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as you can see here. If we go back to the main menu and check out some of the other apps, there is the eDrive Zone app and um, a lap timer, as you can see there. Not that one's particularly relevant for this car, but all the same, it's nice to know it's there. You've got the eDrive Zone, which is more relevant for this car. 
So of course the eDrive zone can be switched on and turned on for selected towns and cities so it automatically switch to the fully electric when it enters those zones. This home screen can be fully customised for your own benefits and your own setup preferences. But it is really nice and simple, but don't worry if you don't like touchscreen, you've still got an iDrive scroll wheel down here in the centre. You have also got these three selectable drive modes, including hybrid, electric and sport. But of course, most of the time, you're just going to leave the car in the state it's currently in, which is the hybrid setting, so the car will take care of itself. There is the rear-facing camera with front and rear parking sensors. So there is a look around another fantastic example of the G20 330e M Sport. If you'd like to know more, remember that there are some links available for you below in the description box. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.